welcome back to my channel lumsy sews in today's sewing tutorial i'm going to show you how to sew this bustier dress with garters in my previous video i made a sewing pattern for this princess that dress today i'm going to show you how to sew it i'll drop the link in the description section if you have not watched it make sure to watch it to sew this i'm going to use one yard of crepe fabric and i'm going to use two yards of african fabric because mine is going to be short if you're making yours to be long use four yards and i have a tutorial on how to remove this label i'll drop the link in the description section also i'll be using one yard of lining fabric and i'm going to use a hair stay for this just for the waist band the waist area in front like i said in my previous video i made a tutorial on the sewing pattern for this dress and that's the pattern i'm going to be using if you have not watched that video make sure to watch it so that you learn how to cut this top so for the front i'm going to cut two pieces of this and i'm going to cut this on fold i'm just going to one, cut one piece on fold for the front area also for the back i'm going to cut two pieces of this i'll do all these same things to the lining piece while i was editing this video as i lost some clips on how to sew the front neckline i didn't cut the neckline on fold i would have loved to show you guys how i sew the front neckline but it's okay the main focus is on the scallop waist so bear with me as you can see i have sewing allowance in front for the neckline so i went ahead and cut out four pieces as you can see two pieces is going to be for the lining and then the two pieces will be for the main fabric and i've also gone ahead and added where i want to gather as you can see me doing so what i will do next is i'm going to cut the dart so i'm going to cut leaving quarter of an inch for sewing allowance so just watch the way i'm going to cut this out make sure you trim quarter of an inch if you use half inch most times is not it doesn't sit properly so i like to use quarter of an inch to cut this out whenever i'm not i don't have any princess that line so for the one I gathered, I'm going to sew it to the lower part of the dress and also this one, I'm going to sew close the dart and I'm going to sew it to the lower part of the dress. Remember I lost this clip, that's why I'm just explaining it. So I'll go ahead and sew this dart and I'm going to add it to lower part and I'm going to turn it. This is it after turning it and I've also sewn the lower part so this is it as you can see next thing i'm going to do to make the scallop to relax properly is to notch it after notching it this is how it's looking i'll go ahead and turn inside out next i'll go to my ironing table now and iron it out make sure to bring out the design of the scallop i'll go ahead and iron it this is it after ironing it this way both the inside and outside are looking very very neat as you can see next is for us to sew the gathers on the waistline i have notched the waistline as you can see and we are going to make the gather for this so i'm going to use this to make the gathers first of all remember this is the waistline and we came down if you have watched the pattern you will understand what i'm doing this is the waistline and we came down from the waistline to three inches so here that three inches is where we're going to start the gathers so from here i'm going to take whatever the length of the dress is minus the upper side and then for the gathered area i'm going to take the measurement of the waistline like this whatever that is we are going to times this by four and gather it so i'm going to do that gather it and that's what i have here next i'm going to place the upper part of the dress to the gathered area so i'm going to do half inch like this and overlap the skirt area and i'm going to pin this down like this and stitch it at the hem like this just at the tip so i'll go ahead and do that and come back to you this is it after sewing it as you can see very neat and when i turn it the other way around you can see how neat is looking 
make sure to overlock it before you gather it i've also sewn the lower part the back side and done the same thing to it the same thing i did to the front is what i did to it as you can see next i will join the shoulder so i'll bring the front pattern and the back and i'm going to join it at the shoulder like this and sew lining to lining and fabric to fabric this is it after sewing it the next thing we're going to do is to sew the sleeve so i'm going to place the two the front and back together like this and take the measurement of the armhole on the dress i have nine and a half inches i'll use this to cut out the sleeve i folded my fabric into two and folded it into four as you can see next i'm going to mark the nine and a half inches i got from the sleeve armhole so i'm going to square this down up and down I'll go ahead and cut this out for me to use this for the sleeve. Next, I'm going to mark 5 inches for the sleeve head. So go ahead and mark 5 inches. I'm going to place my tape diagonally like this. And I'm going to square this diagonally. And also, I'm going to mark the center of the diagonal line I have made. I'm going to draw the sleeve head. Go down this, touching the, the center of the sleeve head, and you're going to make the curve, the sleeve curve like this. I'll go ahead and cut it out. You can leave this like this if you want it to have a loose hem, but I want to make it fitted. So I'm going to fold the lower part like this and shape it with one inch as you can see me doing i'll go ahead and shape the front part of the the sleeve so lower it like this and you're going to notch it so that you know the side that is the front part so i'll place this on my fabric like this and i'm going to go ahead and sew this after stitching it, this is how it's looking. Now go ahead and place the sides in together. As you can see, it's aligned properly. I'll go ahead and sew it. This is it after sewing it, as you can see. Next thing I'm going to do is to go to my machine and add a zipper to this. And then I'm going to fold the hem into two like this. Also the sleeve, I'm going to hem it like that as you can see with this we have come to the end of today's sewing tutorial if this video is helpful don't forget to give it a thumbs up and i'll see you guys in my next video bye